ever did, especially the voters in Batulita. My name is Chi Hao, C. Chi Hao. I'm the candidate for Gaadelan, PKR, and also the candidate for Pakatan Rakyat in this coming state election. Polling will be on the 16th of April, which is about a week away. This is the most important moment for all the voters in Sarawak, for voters in Batlingtan, for Kuching, for all the constituencies in Sarawak. This is the opportunity for us to change Sarawak. At the moment, we have a chief minister who has been at the tip of power for the last 30 years, the chief minister of Sarawak. Since he took over power in 1981, he has managed to amass all the power into his head on the allocation, management and dispensation of the resources, natural resources of Sarawak. Everybody knows that Sarawak is rich in resources. But as the Chief Minister, he is also the Minister of Resource Planning. He is the Minister who is in charge of forests giving out the license, he's in charge of giving up leases for land, the department. And by concentrating all the power into his hand, we have witnessed over the years that there's evidence of abuse of this power, there's evidence of amassing all the power, all the land into the hand of a handful. His families and families of his relatives, his cronies, his very close friends and his cabinet colleagues. If we look at the forest in Sarawak, the forest in Sarawak is diminish, diminishing at the rate of one square mile per day. Until today, after his 30 years of uh, as a chief minister, our forest is left with, our family forest is only left with 5% of all the forest, that, of all the land that we have in Sarawak. If we look at the land in Sarawak, 80% of the native Kashmir rights land are actually now being given out for forest logging, for timber plantation, for oil palm plantation, and for all the other purposes. Altogether, there are more than 1.5 million hectare of land that has been taken from the natives of Sarawak. This is the size of 23 Singapore. There's a size of the land that he is grabbing, that is giving to all his cronies, family members, relatives, and all the other of his colleagues. That's the reason why Sarawak, even though we are rich in resources, but there's very poor management, we can Confident, confidently say, by any standard, there's mismanagement, misgovernment of Sarawak. And that's the reason why today Sarawak is considered as the fourth poorest state in, the, in Malaysia. We have petroleum, we have forests, we have natural gas, we have all the coal or any kind of minerals, but who has the control of all this? Even the Bakun Dam. Bakun Dam, despite the strong opposition from the local natives, from the NGOs, 
and from all the political parties, inside and outside the country, yet he insists on going, going ahead with this Bakun project. But the Bakun project, because of the mismanagement, it was delayed for 16 years, and the cost escalated from 2.4 billion to at least 7.3 billion, causing the whole Bakun project, even if it is functional today, is not going to be economically feasible, the whole project. But Bakun displaced 10,000 natives who are now languaging in Sungai Asam. They have no land to farm on. They could not live their traditional way of life. They cannot keep their traditional customary practice. And they are most of them are now working in town, in rural, in rural centers, as coolies, as low-income workers. Whereas on the other hand, we look at his family business, such as CMS. CMS monopolized all the big projects in Sarawak, including road maintenance, which for the next 15 years, most of the urban roads, the maintenance projects were all monopolized by CMS for the sum of 400 million. That is the extent of what CMS is, and not to mention all the other projects that are taken by his family business. So this state election, the most important issue that we have to determine is 47 years of BN's rule, 30 years of chief ministership by Thai Mahmud. Have we got enough of BN and Thai Mahmud? I say that it's time for change. It's time we topple Thai. It's time we topple Balisan National. It's time for us to vote for Patatan Rakyat. It's time we vote for DAP, we vote for Gardelan, PKR, and we vote for PAS. That's for the change, because the future, the, the next generation of Sarawak, and the future generation of Sarawak, we deserve better.